My name is Alex. On this channel, we talk about product management, tech, finances, investing, and everything in between. And today we're going to be talking about what is most important to keep in mind when you go in for your product management interview or really any other tech interview. The first thing to keep in mind is to fully understand what the question is that is being asked by the interviewer. When an interviewer asks the question, take a moment to understand what you just heard and make sure that you repeat back the question to the interviewer. If the question is, for example, what makes a good product manager? Think about it for a moment and say, okay, the question is what I think makes a good product manager. Is that right? And then when it's confirmed, you can go into the answer. If there's anything ambiguous or unclear about the question, make sure you clarify it. For instance, let's say the question is design a product for selling antiques. The question is, what is this product? What do you mean antiques? What do you mean selling? Is it selling and buying? Is it just selling? And are antiques something that a museum buys or a person finds in their basement or attic? You have to basically disambiguate all these issues so that you and the interviewer are talking about the same thing. So that's step one, making sure you understand the question making sure you clarify any points that are not exactly clear, and then you can proceed with the answer. Now, the second most important thing, and this is one that a lot of people get wrong, is shooting from the hip, as opposed to preparing a structure and kind of walking through your structure. My recommendation is that you have a structure for basically answering any question there is. If you're asked how to design a product, you have a structure. If you asked what you did in a certain situation, you've got a structure to that. Certain strategic question, you've got a structure. Basically anything out there, any question at all, you should think about it for a moment, make sure you understand the question, clarify any unclear points, and then propose a structure for how you're gonna answer the question. This is gonna make you look like a qualified candidate because it shows that you can basically make order out of chaos, which is one of the most important things for product managers to be able to do, is deal with all the incoming information, people, requests, and somehow try to make sense of it. Therefore, whenever a question is asked of you, before you launch into the answer, you're actually gonna present the structure of the answer. So before you jump into a big story about how this mobile app that you've been interacting with lately is just the best product ever, think about what your answer is gonna be structured like. So if the answer is going to contain an element of usability, ease of use, delight, and maybe utility, then make sure to structure your answer the same way. So in this situation, your answer might go something like this. Well, here's how I think of products that are well-designed. They all share a common theme. And I'm gonna talk about a few elements that I think are the same among all well-designed products. And then I'm gonna go into a few examples. How does that sound? The interviewer says, yep, that sounds great. And then you can launch into your whole story about what makes a good product. When you've done this, you've basically laid out a structure that you can follow. That allows you clarity of thought because you know exactly what your next step is. You can feel free to write down your structure in front of you in the notebook or on the whiteboard so that you can basically speak to it after. Also what it does is it gives the interviewer some idea about where you're going next. A lot of times when the interviewer asks a question and the candidate starts answering, the interviewer is not sure where this is going and they don't know if the candidate is wasting time and they should be moved in a particular direction or if they're going to get somewhere. So when they hear your structure, they actually get confidence that they know where this is going and they know that it might be worth to give it a few minutes and give the ability for the candidate to develop their thought process. A corollary of this is that you always want to demonstrate your thought process and you want to demonstrate that your thoughts are structured and they are moving in a particular direction. In other words, you have taken all the inputs, you have aligned them in whatever method you want, and then you're proceeding along the plan that you just made. You don't wanna necessarily just think in silence for a few minutes and then produce this, because the important thing to demonstrate in product management interviews specifically is how you think, what your thinking process is actually like. So feel free and I encourage this, walk the interviewer through your actual thinking process. If you also notice, there's a plant behind me. I added that just to spice things up a little bit. The final thing is to actually stick with your structure and walk the interviewer through piece by piece. This structure element is extremely important and skipped by a lot of folks. Make sure you practice creating the structure and then sticking along with the structure. It is especially powerful if you then refer back to the same structure when you answer a different question. Keep in mind that proper structure, answer structure could be applied to any question, whether it's behavioral, what did you do in this situation? Did you ever have this type of thing happen? Or have you ever failed? Or what are your strengths and weaknesses? Structure can be used there. For instance, you could say, okay, I thought of an episode, I'm going to share the details of it and I'll tell you what I did and what was the outcome of it. And then I'll share a little bit of my learnings from that. That sound okay? 
And again, you've laid out the structure, the interviewer knows what to expect. If you're asked a strategic question, why did company A acquire company B? What are the strengths and weaknesses of company Z? Basically any question that has to do with any company, business or startups, whether they're dealing with products or user needs or any kind of strategic questions, merger, acquisitions, you can approach it with a structure the same way by thinking to yourself, okay, what is company A? What did they do? What are their customers like? What do they actually sell? What product do they produce? What do customers actually want? Think about all that, but create structure for yourself. So for a strategic question, after you clarify what the question was and you make sure you understand everything and you and the interviewer on the same page, you might say, I'll walk you through what I think are important points about this company and this entity. And then we'll talk about how they compare and contrast and what are potential areas of where there could be synergy. For instance, if you're asked a product design question, the same thing, I'm going to think about what the product is, what the users are. I'm going to think through some user needs, motivations, potential features I might build out, how I might think about those features. Then I'll prioritize among those features. We'll talk about one in specific. How does that sound? You always want to check in with the interviewer and make sure that you're driving the interview as much as possible, but you also check in to make sure you're going along the right course. The interviewer will of course correct you if needed. This brings us back to the first point, which is asking a lot of questions, clarifying questions, make sure you understand what's going on. These seem to be very straightforward, but a whole lot of the people that I work with, unfortunately don't do this or don't do this enough. So I encourage you to ask clarifying questions, make sure you understand the question, make sure you understand the signal that the interviewer is trying to get by asking this question make sure you develop a great structure and then you stick to that structure and you deliver the signal that the interviewer is looking for. If you like this video and you like this type of content, please hit the like button. You can also smash it if you're into that type of thing and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.